Felt has just released its new spatial analysis tools, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you a closer look at some of these. In this example, let's say we're working with a fictional client, a nature conservancy nonprofit that focuses on the Iberian lynx, one of the most endangered feline species of the world. For millennia, these animals have lived in the south of Spain, particularly a region called Andalusia. However, due to habitat loss and road traffic, their populations have plummeted, almost to the brink of extinction. The client would like to identify new habitats for them, and that's just what we're gonna do using Felt's new spatial analysis tools. I'm here in a new felt map, and I actually already have a few existing data sets that I brought in that relate to this species. Now, if you'd like to follow along with the tutorial, you can download these data sets via a link in the video description. At the top, we have some elevation information. This is the Andalusia elevation that is less than 1400 meters. This is where the animal prefers to breed. We have suitable land cover, which combines just the forest and shrubland that it prefers. And then we also have all the roads for the country of Spain. So I'm gonna turn off the visibility of these and first I wanna grab the region that we're working with. So to grab this as a polygon, I'm just gonna grab the clip tool and this will become active. I hover over, click on it, and this will clip it out. And now if I go to list, you can see I have a new element here for this particular polygon. To work with this with the transformation spatial analysis tools, I need to convert it to a layer. To do that, I'll right click and go to actions, convert to layer. I'll quickly rename it. Next, let's focus on these roads here. So I'm gonna turn on the visibility here. So this is a lot of information and much of which we don't need. So we don't need any of the roads out here. So I wanna clip the roads to the boundaries of my region. So over here with this region selected, there's a little transform button. If I click here, now I can select which transformation I would like to execute. So I'm gonna grab the clip one, and it says cut out data from, so we wanna cut out data from the Spain roads where it overlaps with our boundaries here. Before I even apply it, it will load up a preview here. I can rename the clip here. It's also telling us the estimated time that this will take to process. And once applied, you can head back over to legend here and see the processing time. All right, so there we go. We have our new layer here. The processing is finished. You can see it's labeled new. I'll turn off the visibility of our roads as well as our region boundary. And there you go. We have our new roads visual here. And what I wanna do now is I wanna have a buffer around all of these roads of a half a mile. So I'm gonna grab this new roads layer. I'll go select transform. And then under the drop down menu, I'll do buffer. And we can go ahead down here and do 0.5. I'll go ahead and change the name real quick and click apply. Once again, we're gonna give it a chance to process here. And there you have it, there is my new roads with the half mile buffer. And for the next step, I wanna subtract these buffered roads from my suitable land cover. So I'm gonna turn on the visibility of suitable land cover, select it, and then go click on transform. Open up the drop down menu and go all the way to the bottom where you see subtract. And now here it says remove the features from suitable land cover where they overlap roads, so these are already selected. And now I'll quickly rename it. Okay, the layer has finished processing. Now I wanna turn off the visibility of the roads with the buffer, as well as the original suitable land cover. And there you go, we have this new beautiful polygon here, but we're not finished. For our last step, all I need to do is now intersect or combine this suitable land cover with our elevation layer. So I'll grab this here. Once I have this layer selected, I'll go to transform, and then I'm gonna to go to the transformation options, and we are going to intersect. So I wanna intersect suitable land cover minus buffers with our Andalusia elevation less than 1400 meters. And I'm gonna call this final visual. And there we go, transforming. Okay, it's done processing, and now I'm gonna turn off the visibility of these two existing layers and see what we've got. It's looking pretty good. However, if I zoom in, you can see there's actually a lot going on here. It's a lot of polygons in this one layer. So to make this a little bit easier on my system and just a little bit better overall, I can combine all of these polygons. So I'm gonna grab the layer and then click on transform and then I can go down to dissolve. That's gonna load the preview and as you can see right here, it's gonna combine adjacent polygons. And I'll simply call it New Iberian Lynx Habitat. And there it is, the new suitable habitat areas for the endangered Iberian lynx. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and stay tuned because in an upcoming video, I'm gonna go a bit deeper with the design of this map. I'm gonna talk about zoom-based styling as well as a few other tips and tricks to get really great looking visuals using felt. To make sure you don't miss those videos, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on notifications. That way you get notified every time we release a new video. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.